What up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Marie Shadows of the Square Circle Podcast and writer to the Square Circle Society over at Substack. Today is a very special day. I will be doing wrestling reviews of women wrestling matches throughout the month of March. March is known for women's history. So we're going to be taking some look at some very wonderful women around the world that are involved in wrestling from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. This is going to be a very special edition and exclusive to Patreon. If you're not signed up to Patreon to help me out with this content, with your generous support, head over to patreon.com forward slash square circle society so you can never miss a video, never miss an update, never miss a vlog. A vlog and a blog. You never miss any of those. This is a very special edition of Tape Study Tuesdays. If you guys don't know what Tape Study Tuesday is, it is basically me watching professional wrestling matches or indie wrestler matches and giving feedback on those matches in real time. And it has been really great over at my Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash Marie underscore shadows, where we come together and watch professional wrestling matches. This is no different. This is just on a Patreon behind a paywall because this is original content that I wish you guys can see with me and learn with me. So throughout the month of March, I will be giving you guys exclusive wrestling reviews of women's wrestling. Today, we're focusing on the wonderful jazz. Jazz used to work in WWF at the time. She is a two-time women's champion. She also worked at NWA for over 900 days. Beautiful. She held that championship for the 900 days, so really great. We're going to be starting with Jazz. Jazz is best known for working at WWF, where she became a two-time women's champion, and then also become NWA women's champion and held it for over 900 days. That's very impressive. She's also known in ECW, and she's also known in Impact Wrestling, where she made her retirement there. Now, for this specific video, we will be looking at and blind reacting to when Jazz fought Steve Carino in ECW. Join me over at the other... For this video, we're going to be looking at Jazz versus Steve Carino in ECW. And here we go. Paid. Oh, tough, tough, tough and strong shoulder block or shoulder tackle from Steve Carino. But Steve Carino being paid off? Hmm. That's a very young Steve Carino. Jazz got this, though. Muscle challenge. Let's go. Nice side headlock. Oh, in the words of Joey Styles. Oh, a chop of her own, a chop of her own thunderous chops. Nice monkey flip. Oh. Hold on. That was a beautiful hip toss. It was very, very perfect. Um, very executed. Well, textbook style. Very great. Um, and then a very nice clothesline to take down Steve Carino. Definitely powerful. Really, really nice. Jazz 
Jazz is a real wrestler. Steve, where are you going? Get back in there. Take a break where? Why? Oh, we got to take a break. Oh, look at that. Oh. Ah. Oh. Steve Carino catches sir with that power bomb. Oh my god, Tommy Dreamer when he was fit along with Francine. Nice kick out. Carino, like, she kicked out. Like, don't complain to the ref. Oh, roll up. Ah, uh, almost had him. Oh, damn that punch. Damn that punch. Cartwheel, kicks, some more chops, oh shit, oh my god that drop kick, man, man that drop kick. Dreamer, you're going to cause the DQ. Rhino, what you doing? The crowd is into it. We're really going to do this? Oh, when in doubt, grab some balls. Grab some balls. Oh, but poking people in the eye is just, you know, as good. Manhattan drop. Nice, nice. Is, isn't it supposed to be a DQ? Well, here comes Francine. Shouldn't that be a DQ? What is happening here? I don't think ECW followed any of the same rules. Here we go. Francine is in the corner of Jazz. Bronco Busters. That was that was fun. Dreamer somehow became a uh, referee. That was fun. That was a fun little match. Jazz picking up the victory. Hey, to Jerry. Oh my God, putting the red mist to the girls. This, this is so weird. This story is so weird.
into the tree of woe. Uh, is the crowd chanting, we want Jazz or we want Taz? Of course, everyone mocked Dreamer. Okay. So that was a very fun little match that involved Jazz versus Steve Carino. I've never seen that. That was my first time reacting to that. And you could always see that Jazz like knew what she was doing. She wanted to be in this sport in, uh, to definitely make an impact, uh, all pun intended, because impact was the last destination for her in her career, but also just to make an impact for women everywhere. And that, like, yeah, you guys can, you know, do um, – what the men do and definitely have these wonderful matches and show off what you can do. And it was a really nice match. The table didn't get used, which was uh really great, but even if it did, it probably would have been a very interesting spot. Um, Steve Carino could have went through it. You know, I don't know why you'll get the table and not use it, but I would have had Steve Carino go in there. I would say that too, that having to Jerry come out, even though he started his feud, I guess with, Tommy Dreamer along with like Steve Carino as well, but that sort of took away from the fact that the fans uh, was celebrating that Jazz won against Steve Carino. Um, it took it, it took it away a tiny bit. Um, it should have been like an angle that was like done like backstage or whatever while they're celebrating. Uh, that's something that I would have fixed, but you know, it was ECW at the time. ECW was all over the place. It's definitely a staple in professional wrestling history as a whole. And I, you know, I respect ECW no matter what. I also respect Jazz. So, ladies and gentlemen of Patreon, again, this is exclusive for you guys. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, send me some feedback. Leave some comments. What did you think about the match? What did you think about the wrestling? What did you think about the story that was going on in there? Like I said, it was a very, very fun match to watch. It was really nice. The energy, the crowd, everything was there. Whenever I do tape study Tuesdays, I always look for how the crowd reacts to what's happening into the ring and stuff like that. So the crowd was great. ECW crowds were like fantastic anyway, but this was a really, really awesome thing. And remember jazz is definitely one hell of a woman to be in this sport. And it was glad to watch one of her matches. Again, guys, make sure to tell a friend, have them sign up to Patreon. There's going to be a lot more exclusive videos like this one and other things I have planned. So again, it is patreon.com forward slash Square Circle Society. Square Circle Society is where we gather to watch professional wrestling together and grow together as a community who loves the wrestling fandom. All right, guys, I am Marie Shadows. I'll see you guys on the next one.